it guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about DC Fandom we've got the official announcement as to who is going to be showing up on our DC TV shows for their panels so some big breaking news as in regards to who is going to show up but also who is not showing up so we're going to discuss that all in today's video so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year Okay, so as in regards to DC Fandom and who is coming, we're going to be mainly talking about The Flash and Supergirl because there is some big kind of gaps, especially in the Supergirl lineup. But also, we'll mention some of the other people from the DC TV shows on the other shows who are showing up for their respective panels like Legends and such. So yeah, yesterday they made the announcement via their social media. Well, I saw it on Twitter. Most people saw it on Twitter. Who is going to be showing up? There was a big kind of list of people from all over the DC Universe, whether they work in TV, the directors, their producers, their comic book writers, or, you know, they're in films or something. So there was this whole massive video, we tried to go through all of it, I was looking through to catch our names for the DC TV show, cast members and such, and I was able to capture some, and then I was like, where are these other people? So there's a lot of people who are missing from this. And we've got some interesting stories to go over, but as in regards to who we know is coming from The Flash right now, because I'm going to talk about Supergirl a bit more extensively, we know that Grant Gustin is confirmed to show up, Candace Patton, Carlos Valdez, Danielle Panabaker, Kayla Compton, Brandon McKnight, Danielle Nicolette, and showrunner Eric Wallace. So that is the people who are confirmed from The Flash cast. So that is most of the main characters, obviously Tom Kavanagh's not there, maybe Tom is busy, I know he's done some online stuff so I don't think it's down to like his internet or anything like this, and I'm not sure if these panels are going to be pre-recorded or they're going to be live, obviously it would be better if it was live, but there is a chance that this could be pre-recorded, so I don't know why Tom's not there, but I guess it's not the biggest exclusion considering you've got the lead, you've got Grant in the panel, you've got Candace. Carlos, Danielle, then you have some of the supporting actors like Kayla Compton, Brandon McKnight, both who are new series regulars, and then also you've got Danielle Nicolette who has been around for a long while and you know she's a like midway between the newcomers and like the originals like Grant, Candice, Carlos and Danielle, and obviously Eric Wallace is showing up because he's a great speaker, he's the showrunner of The Flash, and so yeah. The Flash cast seems pretty damn solid and they are only missing a few people so you know I think the Flash panel is going to be really good. I think they might show a trailer that would be very cool if they do end up showing you know some of the footage that they've done. Also let's move on to the next bit so just to read out a few names you got a few people from the different shows like Katie Lotz is showing up, Breck Bessinger from Stargirl, she's obviously Stargirl, Cameron Johnson from Batwoman. You've got Carolyn Dries, the showrunner for Batwoman, China Ann McLean from Black Lightning. You've got Colleen Atwood, who is, you know, the main costume designer for most of the shows. Chris Williams from Black Lightning. And the list goes on and on and on. You've got Elizabeth Tullock and Tyler Hoechlin from Superman and Lois. So, yeah, very long list of people, but there are some big people who are missing and so let's move over at this point to the Supergirl cast who are confirmed for DC fandom so as of right now and I've got a feeling maybe something will change if they realize the big error that they've done and I'm going to talk about that error in a minute but as of right now we've got David Harewood, Nicole Maines and director Jesse Warren who's directed some of the Supergirl episodes and you got Sarah Schechter that is it that is literally all they have. There are a few people who have been on the show before, like Darren Chris, but he's not coming for DC TV. I think he voiced Superman in an animated show. He was obviously a music master who I love. So I kind of got excited when I saw that, but then I was like, oh, I guess not. But anyway, so yeah, you've only got two cast members, which is incredible to me. I have no idea why they only have David and Nicole, and obviously those two are really important cast members, so it's great that they're coming, I'm happy about that. But what about everyone else? I mean, with Melissa, we were kind of expecting maybe she'll show up, maybe she won't. Like, I don't think it's the biggest deal that Melissa's not showing up, because she's got a valid reason not to be there, because she is looking after her child, and 
So I'm not so surprised about Melissa being there, but just the fact that the rest of the cast isn't there, like Jesse Raff or Katie McGrath, where are they? Because, you know, jesse has been doing all these online panels, Katie has been joining in, and they were literally leading a whole con recently, and, you know, they had some big breaking news coming out of Wizard World the other day, like, they've been doing these online panels and they've been killing it. So where are they? Jesse Raff surely would be one that you want to have in your show because, you know, this is a big thing. And so, you know, this leads me towards one of my next points. And, you know, one of my next points is Azzy Tesfe. So over on Twitter, Azzy replied to a follower about why she isn't in the lineup and she wasn't actually told about DC fandom. She wasn't even informed or asked to participate. Like she didn't even have the choice to say no or yes. She was literally never asked. And that is crazy to me. Like why is she not being asked? She should have been informed about this. She should have been offered it because she is a main cast member. And it's just stupid. Like what is up with that? Because she is literally one of the new biggest characters on Supergirl. And why isn't she doing it? Because she's been doing all these cons online and she's been talking about all of this and she's been leading the Instagram Supergirl page and everything like that. So this has led lots of people to believe, is this DC that is picking, you know, who shows up on the panels or what? Or is this the Supergirl team? I think it's very embarrassing if it is the Supergirl team because that is just a massive misstep on their part. And I really hope this changes because it's totally wrong. And at first I was like, okay, maybe, you know, these actors aren't free. Maybe Azzy isn't free. Maybe Jesse isn't free. But now you look at it with those other cast members, I think excluding Melissa, because I think they definitely tried to get Melissa in because she's the lead after all. But excluding them, like, is there a chance that they didn't ask the whole cast? And why are they getting, you know... Jesse Warren in instead of Azzy Tesse. Like, what sort of impact is Jesse Warren gonna have? He's directed lots of episodes of Supergirl, but I don't think he has more to say than like Azzy or something like that. So, nothing against Jesse because he has done some great Supergirl episodes, but like, why aren't they even asking Azzy? And did they even ask Jesse Raff and Katie McGrath and everyone? So, I just think it's very, very stupid, and I have no idea why they aren't doing that. And like, what about Staz? Like, Staz loves talking about Supergirl, or, you know, Julie Gonzalez, like, where are they? Did they not even get asked, like, Azzy? I think it's just stupid. And so, another cast member who wasn't on the lineup as well as Kyla, and I'm pretty sure I've heard that Kyla has a lot of internet issues, so I think Kyla would have been asked because she is sort of on that David Harewood Melissa level because, you know, those three are the original cast members who are still around so I got a feeling Kyla was asked but you know apparently she's had some internet issues that's why she hasn't been at some of the virtual online cons so yeah just crazy to me but I think Kyla was probably asked but she probably wasn't able to you know make it work and I think Melissa due to you know what's going on right now I think she's due to have her baby sometime in the next few weeks or she might have even had the baby already like you know, this is right at the start of having a new child, like, I think that is totally excusable. I have no problem with Melissa not attending because, you know, I fully support her and I'm sure you guys do as well. But yeah, it's just kind of surprising to me that the Supergirl cast literally just consists of David Herwood and Nicole Maines with Jesse Warren and Sarah Sector showing up and Sarah might even not be on the Supergirl panel because I think she produces Batwoman as well, so maybe she's on the Batwoman panel, so... It's a bit disappointing to see the Supergirl panel end up like this. I was very excited for it. I was hoping for maybe like a little piece of footage from the end of the season that they didn't include in the last episode. I was excited for this big panel with all the cast and everything. But it seems like they weren't even asked. So that's crazy to me. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about all of this? Are you upset about the fact that Azzy wasn't even asked? And does that mean that the rest of the cast wasn't even asked? Like, it's just a big oversight by the Supergirl and DC team, like, whoever chose it, whoever chose this lineup, you know, they definitely missed something, as he wasn't even informed. So, let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red.